back from the dead. Bold or desperate. Will you engage him personally, Your Highness? Of course. Grigor's breath fill your wings. Reform the cohorts. At once. Your Highness. Saboteurs. Their attacks are frequent and widespread, even in the Holy Capital. The capital. What of my father? Is His radiance he... is safe. But he has ordered the city guard strengthened. We can expect no reinforcements. That is of no matter. The Emperor's safety is paramount. I shall deal with our enemies here. Just full of surprises. First that trick with Garuda, then whatever the hell that other thing was. Didn't know you had it in you. Do it. Hey. Kill me. <laughs> it was me. I killed him. I killed Joshua. I killed them all. I'm a monster! And I deserve to die! So end it! End it! Please! Please! Ah! Harry. 
reckon I can take you, if that's what you want. But first, I thought I'd give you the benefit of my timeless wisdom. It seems to me, you see, that since you're still breathing, you might as well make yourself useful. Get dressed. Pretty as you are, you're not my type. I'll, uh, see you in the hall. Don't go making me throw you back in there now, eh? I see I'm busy here. Well, I ain't the cook, am I? Look. You got anything needs repairing? So, what'd it be? Bad, if I do say so myself. No scratches, all right? Look what the curl dragged in. Taking an interest, are you? And to sweeten the deal, 
If you're gonna buy some, it'd be quick about it. Not find a better price than that. You're rubbing me blind, you know. I'll be thankful you got that much. I reckon I can find a buyer. It's not day now. You're rubbing me blind, you know. You'll not find a better price than that. Finally crawled out of the crypt, eh? You look like it. Although I thank you for doing us the courtesy of covering up. Don't. Well, still have a bit of fight left in you. Then listen. I've arranged a meeting with Gav. In case you've forgotten. You're the one he's been putting his nose to work for. For nothing. Just listen. While you've been relaxing in your cell, Gav's been busy sniffing out your dominance. And according to his last report, he's picked up the scent. Gav's gone to a fair bit of trouble for you. The least you can do is hear the poor bugger out. He's going to meet us at the King's Fall. Pack your stuff. We'll leave as soon as you're ready. Bahama had at it by all accounts. A by Bellinus Tor. Gods, it's a wonder we didn't feel it here. The girl you came with is still sleeping. Uh, don't disturb her, please. his light before the break of day. Here, you, newcomer. What? this third is you greedy thing oh, you look like someone's shit in your shoes well whatever's wrong with you keep your chin up eh stops you drowning eat your food while it's hot and see that none goes to waste follow those two simple rules and you will always be welcome at the factory Gav will be waiting for us. Get your stuff together.
Not so long ago, this here was a thriving trade route. Then the blight came. The people left. And just like that, it was deserted. Making it the perfect little shortcut. Gab's waiting for us up ahead. Come on. Still feeling sorry for yourself? Don't. Please. Think about it, Clive. The rumors all point to... That was an Imperial signal. They shouldn't be here. The old fort's been abandoned for years. Our little chat can wait. I need to see what the bastards are up to. You go on ahead and meet up with Gav. But we both know that... No buts about it. Little shortcut, Sid. Straight to a nest of bloodthirsty beasts.
Is it, boy? After him! Don't let him escape! Gaff! Who goes there? This one's a deserter! Take his head! Out of my way! You made your choice! Stay down. Situation. You're late! Gaff's in trouble! What? The Imperials are on his tail! We have to get to him before they do. Understood. I'm here to even the odds. Any objections? I'll take the dragon. You take the dragoon. Oh. Ah. 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 
try. The war goes up, must come down. Bloody <laughs> time waster. Come on, let's finish him off. Come on. There. Ah. Clive doesn't have your nose, I said. He'd stumble off a cliff, I said. That's a trouble with a nose like mine. Can't help sticking it where it's not wanted. But if it wasn't for you two, my sniffing days would be over. Thank you. Truly. So, what news? Well, I uh, found out where your friend's heading, for one thing. Gav, I... Him and his mate are on their way to your old stomping ground, Rosaria. You should have seen what they did to the Imperials who tried to stop them. There's no question about it. He's a dominant fire, all right. He can't be. Clive, I saw you turn into an icon before my very eyes. And yes... There's a good chance it was you who killed the Phoenix. But we weren't alone, were we? It was the fellow you saw enter the whirlwind. I... I saw him too. You didn't dream it, Clive. He's out there. But... who is he? Don't ask me. I don't bloody know. But I do know one thing. You're gonna find him and find out. After all, you swore an oath. What? You swore you'd avenge your brother's death. That you'd never rest until you'd hunted down the man responsible. So? Find out if this man's responsible, and kill yourself if he's not. Sid, I... Don't thank me. Thank Gab. Thank you, Gav. Yeah, well, yeah.
No birds returning this year. The deadlands have swallowed the is not. We're running out of time. We'll be in Rosaria in a day or two. Back to where it all began. He must be stopped. Spitting great gouts of fire, he was like a bleeding volcano. Ever seen a volcano? What? You think I'm having you Clive! on? Clive! Your friend! She's awake! Right. <sighs> Go to her, you fool. <laughs> right, you lot. Enough slacking. Jutes, Gav, go and get those wounds seen to. Oh, oh, give it to me straight. How long have I got? So? All in good time. Let's make ourselves scarce. Jill. I wonder what it's trying <laughs> They even have a Moogle. I've never seen one in the flesh. I'm sure it's said in my father's bestiary that they live deep in the forest. And they're humans. Nectar, you say? Clive. So seem. That's painful. Just get this fixed before someone doesn't. It's true then. It really is you. Healed. Kaya told me what happened. You saved my life. After nearly taking it, I had no idea. Forgive me, but be there, Jill. Fighting for them. The Iron Blood. They invaded, and the news arrived about Fink's Gate. Rosaria had lost her leaders. The duchy was in chaos. Iron Kingdom sought and pounced upon it. Killed the men and captured the women. 
and took you to Aino. I thought they meant to have their fun with me before the end. The end never came. My powers awoke and everything changed. It all happened so far. We were told that the Ironblood had captured a dominant and planned to bring her on their latest crusade. Hmm. They gave me a choice. To fight for them on the battlefield or... See my gun slaughtered. And they call us dominance. What? What happened, Clive? What happened at Phoenix Gate? It was me. I killed Joshua. No. That's... I know you. You wouldn't do that. It's the truth. Then... Not long ago, the second icon of fire, the one responsible. <laughs> Clive. When I think back to that night. The hooded man, he, he spoke to me. What did he say? We and you. What did he mean? Clive, we should go back there. You know what really happened, and so do you. You need to know for certain. And what you said you did? Then we will face it together. Jill, I... You'll be needing a change of clothes, then. Out you go, your lordship. We wouldn't want you getting overexcited. Uh, sorry. I'll see you soon, then, Clive. I should be ready, too. We have a long journey ahead of us. I'll come down as soon as I've got changed, Clive. I thought I told you to make yourself scarce. Your friend needs to get dressed. We're looking at half a dozen, maybe more. <laughs> Isn't the Moogle funny? Ah, Clive. I trust you're settling in? Gradually getting used to the place. I'm glad to hear it. I was hoping you might be persuaded to be rewarded, of course. I don't doubt it. Seems to be the way around here. Strive to be better than once served. Now, as to the task itself, I am once again in need of a pair of hands to deliver sustenance to our esteemed companions. I have three meals for three industrious souls. What say you? Marvelous. The three individuals you'll be seeking out are busying themselves about the hideaway. Find one by the end, another in the bunks, and the other guarding the cells. Thank you once again, Clive. We just don't have enough teams to follow everyone. Ooh, something smells good. For me, I hope. It is. Courtesy of Kenneth. Oh, my thanks. These birds are needy creatures. They don't like me running after the fat chocobo behind their backs. <laughs> they must keep you busy. 
Ah, there's never a moment's rest. Probably for the best I eat down here, reeking of the staples as I do. I'd only put people off their food. And who has time to wash and dress for dinner when they've got little darlings like these to wait upon, eh? Anyway, thanks for the food, and be sure to give Kenneth my regards. So soon? Fancied another kip in the cells, did you? Kenneth sent me. He thought you might be hungry. He wasn't wrong. The way my guts be was running scared. <laughs> Guard duty down here can't be much fun. It's not. But sometimes folk need locking up, and someone has to watch over them. I help people sleep at night, and that's not a boast many can make. You keep yourself on the right side of these bars now, you hear me? Oh, what I wouldn't give for some wild mickleberry. Can I help you? Kenneth sent me. Ah, wonderful. Do you hear that? Our food has arrived. Does your appetite still elude you? Is he sick? <sighs> I'm afraid so. Those longer in need of a physica's immediate ministrations are sent here for further rest. I tend to those who cannot tend to themselves. Which leaves me for anything else. Happily, Kenneth sees that I stay fed. I would be lost without the kindness of good people like him and yourself. Thank you. I think that's everyone. I better let Kenneth know. I can really do with a proper place to train. <laughs> Isn't the Moogle funny? All done? Wonder. Here, your reward, as promised. The hideaway is quite something. Everyone has their place. A fact we are proud of, believe me. I'm glad you've witnessed it for yourself. You too, of course, as you have just so capably proven. And you will always have a place with us, should you desire it. It's kind of you to say so. It is the truth, and not a soul among us would deny it. I look forward to all that you were immunity. Newcomer, I need. What's the matter? It's my assistant. She left to gather soil, and I've seen nothing. I cannot concentrate one whit for fear of what might have happened. Please, I give you. Will you go and check? I have to know. All right, I'll go. Thank you. You'll be rewarded for your time, of course. Whereabouts is she? Gotan's bales. It's on the outskirts of Lost Wing. Not safest place for an unaccompanied bearer is second to none. Now go, and do not linger. Why, it may already be too late.
Someone's in trouble. It would have been worth if you hadn't come along. Wait, uh, I've seen you around the hideaway. You're new, aren't you? I've... And I'm Martel. But what are you doing here? Looking for you. This is no place for a bearer on her own. I noticed. Then what if I gathered it for you? You could head back to the hideaway. Dirt is it that you need? What I need is soil. But I'd be a fool to refuse your help after what just happened. It's the good stuff you're looking for. Dark, rich, fragrant. Dark, rich, and fragrant. Right. Well, you should hurry back. Bohemil seemed worried enough that he might come looking for you himself. That seems... but I won't... Thanks. Soil, then. Certainly enough of it here. Is it dark, rich, and freight? Should be enough. I better get it back to the hideaway. There you are. And? All safe and sound? Well, yes, she's standing right there. The oil. Did you bring it? Uh, yes. Glorious! When Martel... I almost had a fit. But with this... With this, my research can continue. First and foremost come the measurements. I must know how much ether each sample contains. From there... Wait, so you were never... Worried about me? Sorry to disappoint you about is his research. But that's... 
Bear's all right. It's just how he is. And if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be growing anything in these ruins. It's a small price to pay. Although, you shouldn't have to pay it too. Did he even offer you any? Yeah. I'm sure, but it's something, at least. I'll offer you some fruit too, but you're not likely to thank me if you Still, we'll grow something worth eating one of these days, and when we do, you'll have first pick. My fertilizer is complete. The furrows will need expanding. <laughs> So your mind's made up, is it? We'll be leaving for Rosaria as soon as we're able. Back down memory lane, eh? Rosaria ain't what she used to be, Clive. Not since the Imperials moved in. First sign of trouble, you make straight for Martha's rest and ask for the landlady. She's a friend of the cause. Tell her you was Sid, and she'll help you out. Understood. Thank you, Gav. Yeah. I'd be lost without you. Yeah, I'm just doing my job. No need to make such a fuss. You take care, all right? Crap, at goodbyes. Where's Sid? Where? Give him my regards when he gets. I will. Sorry to keep you waiting. Ready, my lady? Ready.